Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about what it's like to work from home full time. Now I run my YouTube channel and my husband runs his YouTube channel, but we also both work full time. Because of my migraines, I work full time from home. One of the things that that allows me to do is control some of the triggers that make it difficult for me to be successful at my job. So it's a gift that I take very, very seriously. I don't take it lightly and it's something that I cherish as it makes my life much easier. It makes it far easier for me to be successful in my professional career. When I first started working from home though, there were some issues. So I wanted to talk to you about if you're going to work from home, whether it's part-time or full-time, there are some things you want to be aware of and things that you want to put into place. First of all, you need to set boundaries with the people around you. They need to know you're actually working. You're not here to run their errands. You're not emergency child care. You can't take care of their dog, collect their mail, open their packages, run over to the house and wait for the cable guy, any of that sort of thing. And you'll be surprised at how many people will make those requests. Um, the other thing I would say to you is you need to talk to the people who actually live in the house because especially moms, we're multitaskers by nature anyway, and our family members are accustomed to that. So they may not think of it as an intrusion to stop by and ask you a question or ask you to sign something or just want to hang out with you. So if you're working, those hours need to be respected. Those hours are not your own. They belong to your employer and you need to respect that and your family members need to respect that as well. So set very clear boundaries. My rule was if you wouldn't ask me to do something when I was working in the business office, in the business, in the office building away from home, don't ask me to do it when I'm at home because it's the same thing. I'm still working. So if you wouldn't bring your child to me in my cubicle, in my business office, don't bring your child to me in my home during work hours. Um, if you don't want me to run errands for you while I'm in my office, I can't run errands for you when I'm working from home either. So it's a good rule of thumb. If they wouldn't call or they wouldn't do those things, if they wouldn't bring in um, their iPad and hang out under your desk and, and watch movies while you're in your office, they can't do it while you're working at home. The second thing I would say is set up a designated spot. And I know not everybody has a spare room that you can designate as a home office. I'm very fortunate and I do realize that. However, there are spaces you can use. If you can't use an entire room, maybe you can set up a corner in a guest room or your master bedroom. Maybe there's a little niche or nook in the hallway. Maybe you set up a specific spot in the corner of the living room or even a spot at your dining table or your kitchen table. But set it up and leave it set up with your laptop, your computer, your monitors, whatever it is, whatever detritus you need for your work and keep it organized and keep it clean and keep it a professional work space. Make sure that everybody around knows that that, that stuff is not to be touched. It is not public belongings. They are private. They belong to your employer. They are there for your professional use and that's the only thing they are there for. Um, so even if you don't have a full home office, find a place where you can work and concentrate on work. And that leads me into tip number three. It can be really easy to fall into a relaxed work atmosphere when you're working from home. You're in your home, so it's easy to fall into like a weekend sort of pattern where, okay, yeah, you're working, but really you're home. So you have to make sure that you're disciplined. Um, don't be doing other things during work hours. If you wouldn't do it while you were in the office building, don't do it while you're working at home. That means watching movies, doing your laundry, um, scheduling appointments, anything like that. And treat the job with the respect it deserves. So when you get up in the morning, get up, get dressed, wash your face, do your hair and makeup, put on clothes. I don't think you necessarily have to dress like you would to go to the office. I don't really care if you're just showering and putting on clean pajamas, but getting up and showering and changing clothes, 
trains your mind to get into that work mentality. I have an author friend who writes from home every day, and she has a beautiful home office. She gets up, gets dressed, and she puts on a dress every single day because she said otherwise she doesn't write. She just, it's a day off. If she's not dressed to the nines, it's a day off, and she's not accomplishing anything. So she gets up, puts on a dress, jewelry, makeup, does her hair, goes outside and walks around the outside of her house and then back into her office. And that trains her mind that she's now ready to sit down and work. It's not home time. It's not time to tidy up the kitchen or plan what you're going to have for dinner or start a load of laundry or any of that. It's time to go to work. And that's the discipline that you have to have in your mind. Now, I don't think you necessarily have to go so far as to wear a dress or to wear a suit. But again, whether you're just changing out of your pajamas and putting on jeans and a t-shirt or whether you're just changing from, you know, pajamas to yoga pants or yoga pants to sweatpants or one set of pajamas to another pair of pajamas. The changing of the outfit does a great deal for your mentality. And I think you need to treat it like a job. You have to know what you're going to do and you have to train your mind that you're going to work now. It's time for work. So eliminate the distractions around you. Um, I do have a TV in my office because this also doubles as the guest room when the Grand Dorables come to stay. This TV is never turned on during work hours. The remote is over here in this container. I don't even touch it. It's not, it's not on. I don't get on um, social media unless I'm taking an actual break. And nine times out of ten, if I'm taking a break, I'm leaving my office to do it. I'll go downstairs. I'll step into my master bedroom. I'll go away from the work environment because the work environment is a work environment and I want to keep that mentality in my mind. I want to keep that, that training and that discipline. So work stuff happens here, private stuff happens out there. So I hope these tips help you as you transition from a traditional workspace to a work from home space, whether, as I said, it's full-time or part-time. If you have any questions or comments, if you have any other um, suggestions to make that easier, leave a comment below. I would love to hear it, and so would the other people who are making this transition. I'm so glad you guys stopped by. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and uh, we'll talk soon, okay?